I'm a air framer for the CH-53 Echo. We work on the hydraulic components as well as the actual metal structure of the aircraft. The biggest thing we work on is hydraulics. This aircraft operates at 3,000 PSI for most systems, and so it needs constant maintenance, especially with the age of a lot of these components and everything like that. But the hydraulics operate important things like servos, landing gear, ramp, a lot of the systems in the aircraft. Maintenance stand down, we come in, um, maintenance control will pass us what we need to do for the day. Um, a lot of it is troubleshooting and something will be wrong with the aircraft and we just got to find out what's making it wrong. And then so it's working with a small group of guys to figure out isolate components or issues that are causing some of the hydraulic components to not work on the aircraft. So a lot of it's troubleshooting. One of the biggest things is external lift. Lifted everything from 777s, howitzers, to trucks, to Humvees, generators, everything needed to set up. FOBs, uh, one of the other big things we do is setting up FARPs, carrying internal fuel, extra fuel, and then being able to push that out to either skids or other vehicles that need to be refueled. We can do that in forward environments so that uh, ground units can just continue to use their vehicles. We also do fast rope and the ability to drop 30 guys on top of a roof from a rope is, you know, something not many other aircraft can say they can do. We have the ability to take a lot of people. Our typical seat load is 30 people, but if we put in centerline seats, we can reach over 50. Uh, and a lot of things to places that, say a C-130 can't get to at loads that an Osprey potentially cannot lift. So we can external up to 36,000 pounds of cargo and we can put internal quite a lot as well. Uh, one of the things that I want to emphasize is the age of the aircraft. This is a 40 year old aircraft and it's work effort and dedication from the people that I work alongside that the fact that we have the readiness rights that we do working on an aircraft where most of the warranties ran out before I was born. And it's just amazing that we keep these things still operating, flying, and working as well as they do. Testament to everyone in this department, everyone who works on these aircraft. Cujo 2-1, this is Mulder, so we copy. We are in contact with Stalker 2, a Marine Recon Platoon north of the MSR. They blast three T-72s in the area. I need you to push 16 clicks north of MSR knife to map grid 257, 7, 9, or 8. I'll copy over. Vulture, 